Hey, now we now we in Texas. Quadruple uh murder, hum, uh suicide. And and this time it's including kids. In Corsicana. I was just in Corsicana a, a month ago. Oh this breaks my heart. Let's listen. So they were found in multiple places in Corsicana. Suspect found over there, a victim found over there, and another one down over there. And this is an hour outside of an hour outside of Dallas. So one man, a man kills four people, uh, including uh, let's see, one child, and then himself. He lost his mind. About an hour south of Dallas, the law enforcement agencies are investigating multiple murders. Four people killed, at least one victim we're told is a child. Three others also shot. We understand the suspect in this as well apparently killed himself, making this five deaths in all. I see five people are dead tonight, including the suspect. And tonight we also spoke with neighbors who are in shock after hearing about what happened. Now, just after midnight, Corsicana police received a call. And for, for you who don't know, Corsicana is in the country. Just after midnight, Corsicana police received a call about a man who had killed his family. By the time police got there, the house was on West 2nd Avenue. They found a man and woman who were dead. Now, during a search at the house, police found two other victims who were shot. They were flown to a hospital. Shortly after Navarro County Sheriff's Office, Navarro Junior College, and a four year old child who were shot. Oh, maybe she's Navarro at College. An intersection in Frost, Texas. A woman who was also with them was shot and taken to a hospital. Now, around 3 a.m., detectives were able to track down the suspect through their GPS navigation system. Police had the monitoring service remotely turn off the engine. That's when SWAT approached the car and they found... So SWAT just shut his car down. Tracked down the suspect through their GPS navigation system. Police had the monitoring service remotely turn off the engine. That's when SWAT approached the car and they found the suspect with the self inflicted gunshot wound. He died at the hospital. Now, tonight we spoke with one woman who lives near the house where that first shooting happened. She knew the man and woman who were killed. She was a really, really nice lady, and so is he. He's really, you can hear them talking. He's so loud, his voice carries through the neighborhood. You can hear talking over here but they I mean they're really really good people really they didn't deserve that and no word yet on the latest
his condition of those three other people who were shot. But of course, we'll update you as we learn more. Yeah, let's pray for the people who are fighting for their lives. And condolences to the people who lost theirs, including the child. Of definitely the child. This is a sad, sad situation.